All right, man, y'all see it. We are back. We're pumping. I know it's been a little minute since I released the video. Had a bunch of technical difficulties to get through, but who cares, man? We are back in it. We have surpassed this local range that we was in getting out of this big old massive drop in the market from you know the past little bull crap we had to go through with japan and the unemployment blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and then later on we had a cpi report that was also not too well but you know what they can't stop it it's programmed for bitcoin to go up and once bitcoin moves as you can see we broke free from this little zone like i said i had placed now we just gotta hold this little line right here at sixty-two thousand. if we can just wait a minute, in fact, let me get a little let me do this right here with y'all real quick boom we can get a little bounce out of this little area come back for a retest just make sure it's safe and then fiddle around before we take off that'll be awesome that would be awesome but on the worst case scenario we could bounce back in and just trade within this little zone and if worse comes to worse you know we could just come back for another retest and work our way out even slower which would be very very freaking painful nobody wants to go through that i sure do not i know nobody wants to go through that crap but we gotta look at the bright side right now because we are pumping we back the markets are pumped up and if Bitcoin moves, Ethereum moves, and when Ethereum moves, then all the other tickers on the Ethereum blockchain, along with all of the altcoins in general, they all pump. As you can see, we got Casper up 4%. Still heartbreaking to see that. We was literally playing this out to a T. We was playing out to a T. But what happened? Man, stupidity. That's what happened. <laughs> stupidity happened, man. Freaking Japan just shot the markets down. Now we gotta, you know, work our way right back out of here. Like we was about to take off. We came, we came up, came down for a retest. And we were just about to take off, man. I had, I was ready. I was ready, ready to see this thing move. But we're trying to fight above and get above this 17 cent, um, the 17 five area. What was that? Point one seven five, whatever. I was about to say 17.5. <laughs> But no, we're still at 17. We're at 16 cents right now. But once we get past the 17 cent and get into the 18 cents and start working our way back up towards 20, our high is at 20. We're not that far off. Just to get back to the top where we was at, we're nothing but 25% off. You know, that's a that could be a day. We can get a day of us just exploding and, and just getting back to that level. Of course, it would be a little turbulence just to surpass and really go into price discovery. We was about to. I know it sucks, but they had to shake us out one more time. I hope everybody held on to your bags. Don't get shooken out. This is their plan. Got to fight against the man. But, you know, forget them, man. Solana is also up 5% on the day. We did a major breakout, came down for a retest, and it was about to take off. And then it dropped with the rest of the market. And now we're just playing back with the range. Sucks, but what can you do? Like I said, Solana's actually been leading the market, so it was about to be the first one to actually take off and start heading back towards this um, previous all-time high, or at least getting closer to it. But we're back in the range, and it's okay. It's okay. It's more time to accumulate. Dogecoin is up 7%. It just made another little massive jump up. Uh, once Dogecoin moves, all the rest of the meme coins like to follow. You see the sister coin of dogecoin uh shiba inu is also up seven percent they they move in tangent with each other because shiba is pretty much beta to doge whatever doge does shiba does and vice versa if shiba gets some good news then doge will also thrive off that as well and if we look down here at the boys club i got pepe right here starting to make his way on up as well which is wonderful like i said we're getting tired of being down here at these lows and consolidating within these patterns man we was about to break out we was about to so sad but it's healthy it's very healthy for the market for us to have these corrections and it's great for us as consumers to actually put some more of these projects in our pocket but we can be just you know stuffing our bags up of pepe down here within these levels and then once it actually does make its move back up to the all-time high from this point you know even if you start let's say you you've seen this first drop and it came back down for a retest and now you see that okay this is gonna be a floor i'm gonna run it up real quick whatever you would have bought would have did 120 to 130 40 percent so 2x plus a little extra 
as you go down Pepe's better chain as you can see you know all the charts are looking pretty much similar Brett is also making a nice recovery out of these lows from the lows Brett actually made a nice jump um, as high as 46% but right now we're sitting at just about 30% from the low area you know which is great meme coins need to thrive Andy here is up 17% on the day gotta love it got to love it Andy is thriving I need Andy just to take the fuck out I can get that bag you feel me get that bag in my pocket man no Andy's doing great though Andy's doing great love the project and it's beta to Pepe which is beta towards Doge ETH and going up to Bitcoin so Bitcoin moving is really making everything else move ballistically Land Wolf up 21% on the day that's wonderful i got a bunch of stuff up here on my grass man i need to clean my stuff off man when i come up here and do videos i'd be hopping up here i gotta talk to y'all real quick but land wolf is um from the lows from the lows and i was telling a bunch of people to buy land wolf down here too locally they ain't want they ain't want to listen to me though know? it's up almost 60 percent almost already a, a doubling of the money i was dollar cost averaging on the way down into these levels and i'm just waiting for it to trace up pass all my markets and put me back in profit which it is prone to do we also got bobo here up 18 percent coming and hitting this little line of resistance hopefully it blasts through it and start fighting his way back up because that's what we need we need bobo to make us make us happy make my kids happy fill their pockets up this is for my kids Zephyr, man, what a project right here as well. I'm just I'm just going through all the tickers right now, man. Looking at all the coins that I'm actually into. And also, meme coins in general are just going crazy right now. It's, it's just going crazy. You look at every dog with hat up 10%, up 26 within the week. Bonk up almost 10%, up 15 within the week. You got Floki up almost 30 within the week. Like all these projects are going crazy. Popcat. I don't own no Popcat. But that's okay. I don't need none because my bags are packed. Mog. Mog is also doing great. It's doing great. Like everything is thriving. Pepe Coin. <laughs> okay. Somebody want to. <laughs> Pepe Coin. Come on. Where the real Pepe at? Where the real king up here? Up here. Pepe Coin. Get out of here. But not nah, seriously though. Look, Sundog. Within the last week, almost 300%. It's 250% increase. You can't get, you can't say that this ain't great. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Look at this one, right? This is a, almost a 10x for the for the month. Nero Ethereum, Mumu the Bull. Come on, everything's thriving, man. The markets are back. That's all I gotta say. Y'all go ahead and sit back and relax. Hopefully, during this turbulent time when the market was crashing, you was accumulating, accumulating a lot. Like I'm telling you, your girlfriend telling you don't do it, you need to get rid of her. I ain't gonna lie. Get a new one. Matter of fact, once this bull runs over with, you can afford three, four of them, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> like don't listen to what the wife is saying they don't know anything about finances bro they like to stay within the norm nah be a man put your put your pants on and put your drawers on buddy time to get out here in the real world and make some money that's how we got to do it now as long as bitcoin can hold this level right here at 62,000 then like i said we will start working our way up towards the all-time high pretty soon now the election is not that far off what well, we got uh like two and a half months man not even two and a half it's a little bit less but i'm just gonna say two and a half months until this election is set in stone whether it's kamala or it is trump who's going to win of course trump will boost the markets up even more and i believe if trump wins we will get a super cycle because he's he's really like really pretty you know putting the pressure on crypto as a whole he putting the pressure on crypto as a whole but if kamala wins yeah they're going to stimulate you know the the economy of course just like every other election regardless of who is in office democrat or republic as soon as the election hits as you can see on these blue lines we go parabolic that's when we hit the banana zone so we're almost there we're almost at the banana zone i can't wait i know y'all can't wait so just sit back relax and just watch these just watch the markets man and try not to cry 
all I can say. Try not to cry. Try not to get too much uh too much of that uh euphoric high in your system, man. I'm telling you that right now. Cause this is about to be a crazy ride. And we gon I'm gonna be up here with y'all. We're gonna go through it together. If it ain't gonna be just y'all, we're going through this together. So if there's anything y'all look at this, look at this. Look like I said, meme coins going crazy. Let me let me put it back on the day. Cause this thing just jumped up some more. Now we are at twenty five percent on land wolf. For today, 25. That's not even including life. You would have caught it all the way down at the bottom wick. Even from the bottom wick, we're sitting at a 37% gains for today. Everything is climbing. It is beautiful. Let's just sit back and get this money out.